And all greetings, this is Gilles Monsieur. I am called to return to continue to speak about spirituality for for it is the essence of those messages. Those spirituality is not of, a, of mainstream interest. This is, it's only interesting to some people, those who are attuned to those frequencies. And so uh, I'm going to discuss a number of subjects today and uh, continue, I'm going to pull a few cards for first to, to, see the, to address the chakras, the alignment of our energetic center, the condition of our, of our energetic body for the day. And here uh, we have... Uh, I'm going to pull nine cards to address the so so at the at the on the bottom bottom roots of our beans we we have this uh, the pearls before swine so it is important not to give in our energy to to those people and those situations that are not that are not worthy of our energy we have to discern we have to discriminate we do not want to waste our time and energy in situations that are that are not for us to become involved so it is important to to utilize this this. Um, this power of discrimination what we have on our navel which controls the earth plane and the, the astral planes we have the cremation ground the meditation which is uh, uh, the the chariot the the, the the material success it represents the the recognition of your of your of your gift and talent so <clears throat> um, do not let the out of certain circumstances uh, distract you from knowing who you are, from, from, from being able to elevate yourself above, the, above the, the shadows. What we have on our power center, which is the solar plexus, we have the card of abundance for, for wealth, money, abundance, freedom. All of that is we, we, are, we are worthy of receiving this abundance, of sharing this abundance, of re becoming one with the flow of abundance. What we see in, our, in the heart, in the power center, the, the heart is the most the, the central central vortex, so to speak. And here we have a solar return. It is the eclipse. This eclipse that is coming will be of great assistance to to all mankind, to all the, all of this that which needs to be. Um, Evacuated, we'll move into something new. So it is about uh, it is about understanding that the, the, there is a great shift that is coming um, that is coming about. What we communicate on the, on the fifth chakra, which is the communication. Here we have the white lady, the mother of pearl. Do not uh, do not allow yourself. I mean, I'm not judging or anything. We're not judging, but let us not allow ourselves to communicate pessimism, to communicate our fear, to communicate our doubt. It's okay to feel that, but we want to breathe through it. And tune into this five-dimensional guiding system because otherwise we we still locked into this physical matrix, and so we do not want to become gloomy and or gloomy or nostalgic or all of that. It's like let us let us create this blank screen and and, and allow ourselves, our soul and our spirit to guide us towards something better. What we see in the, in the third eye chakra is in the in, in the. Um, in the, that will manifest before us, the, the soul light chakra is the seat of consciousness. And here we have the last laugh, humor. So we can look at things with humor, we become detached, trust, uh, slay the ego, trust, uh, have faith. And what comes in the crown chakra, which is, uh, which is the, the great awakening that comes from the higher planes, we have Shiva. It is the, the Lord of uh, it is the power. It is the enlightenment. It is both water and fire blended. It is a, it is a very powerful energy that comes down to us to 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 change all of those um, those limitations. For at the root, when we address this pearl before swine and we become to disc to discriminate, we stop wasting our time with energies that are no longer supported by the universe. We find the living goddess will be able to bring things into balance and manifest that beauty. And at which point we'll be able to communicate for, um, on, the, on the fifth chakra, which is slay the ego, the old is gone and there is no need. So we can be totally bananas. It's okay to be, uh, to be wild and eccentric. And, and, and from there, we'll find the wish fulfilling gem. On the earth chakra, which will, this is what will manifest around us, what is anchored in the earth, we have as above, so below. It is the magnificent card of, of heavenly blessings that is coming down to the earth for when we are ready, this, this blessings is just waiting to come down, to manifest. And what is on a, on a soul star chakra, which is above our head, which will come down into us in the future, is Mercury, is the power of the one, for the one is the one, and we are the one, we have this power of the one. So do not let the, 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 the illusion of the third dimension to interfere with your guidance of the fifth dimension. There is already dreams that needs to be, uh, to be uh, accepted and manifested. So 
it is all this power of the one, this power of, uh, of magic, for magic, mystical ideas, extraterrestrial, all of that is not really uh, for, for, for human society, it is just entertainment, it's just good for, for making movies and making TV series, but it's not taken at all seriously, anybody that believes in magic, that believes in the mystical kingdoms, or the magic kingdom, or to believe in extraterrestrial, is a marginal, is somebody that's been, that has to be put aside as somebody who's not serious, only the children are able to, to integrate that easily because children are closer to God, closer to the source. They're recreating their reality every day. But soon then nobody will have, the, as the, the divine manifests slowly but surely over the next few years, it might even come sooner than that, um, the, the, the world will have no choice but to recognize that and they'll have nowhere to go but to turn to you, the, 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 the spiritual practitioner, to get any kind of guidance because they'll, they will, they'll be too lost without it. They've, be, they've been believing in an illusion when they, all the things that they've been denying was actually the truth that they were going into. For there was um, advanced extraterrestrials that are, that are observed many, 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 many in the ships that are observing and, and participating uh, to the, although there is this non-interference, they, they, they are allowed to send the love and light and to, to work with individuals that are open to their guidance, that are observing the, the whole process of evolution. They see so much more from where the, the, the higher dimension where they are than us where we are. Essentially, we want to we want to ascend, we want to find this ultimate, um, the ultimate goal, the ascension, so they can join them in, and, and it's like being in an arena <clears throat> in like uh, where there is like beast and beast and fight and, and all kinds of and so we, once we so it's better to be uh, to be observing this show from 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 the from the tribune than to be inside the arena we want to elevate ourselves above the fear above above the separation and so, so, they, they, so as we ascend we can be able to look at life from the vantage standpoint of eternity and understand the ins and outs of things. Um, and so, uh, so it, is, it is revealed that this year, this 2019 year, will be the year of, of major disclosure and revelation. Um, and even there is extraterrestrial um, beings that are, uh, that are very advanced, that are coming into, um, as they, they look like humans, but they're not really human, they're in bioplasmic form, and they've been authorized to infiltrate the, the, the ranks of the dark in order to, to, to bring back into harmony all the psychopath and satanic and all those things. So I'm not going to talk about this, but they, 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 they're going to be cleansed from within, and so but when you come as a bioplasmic form, it is not the same as when you come as an incarnation, when you are born as a baby and you grow, and you, you have to go through the path of a human being. When you come down like uh, like the Greek gods or the Egyptian gods, they were they were they were in, they were in physical form, but they had, they had all their memories and power intact. And so there is great deal, a great deal will be a um, great deal of uh, leeway will be given to the uh, the interdimensional community for extraterrestrial meaning interdimensional. Huh? And so um, we want to send light to Julian Assange, and this this guy. Of course, he, he, all he did was to, to to try to express crimes against humanity as the freedom of the press, and now he's being detained and and not treated well. So let us use our collective light so that every so that he can. Um, he can enjoy that, and eventually will be. Uh, for his, his, for now, it's like uh, he's, he's not being uh, treated fairly, and this is the whole press of the, the whole understanding of freedom of speech that is at that is at stake with this case zero zero one zero one one zero and the holographic matrix freedom of speech, unified consciousness, and so. Uh, um, so also understand there is no one better than you or higher than you. Anybody that wants to tell you that they're higher or better than you is because they're, they're in the delusion of the ego and they're trying to steal your power away. Um, they're just on another cycle. They're just soul on all kinds of different other cycles. Um, for, for there is all kinds of doubts and shadows and fears that may be still coming up for to be released. It's one day at a time, one moment at a time, one thought at a time that we have to deal with this. Just breathe through it and, and allow yourself to, to not take those too seriously. Um, 
for, for we are as a society, all the light workers have not yet been taken too seriously. It's an ego-driven society, but there is very little love, very little soul in the process. But now people are awakening and they're realizing that love is really what they're really seeking, for that's the only thing that is real, that will give meaning and sense to our life. But they don't know how to achieve that, so they soon they will have no choice but to turn to you. So continue to, to work on yourself, to work on your own programming, programmation, whatever comes from your, your heart and your soul and your, your insight, your guidance, your intuition. Uh, we want to be uh, we want to be active rather than reactive. So we we want to move beyond the state of reaction. But when we have to react, we want to react as God and goddesses with the love of God, with the light of God, with the wisdom of God, and to to regain full control over our life, to shift uh, to to really shift from ego uh, ego the GPS of the ego to the GPS of the soul, the spirit, the fifth dimensional rather than third dimension. So that means to to follow that light as much as possible always and you can also ask angels for there is more angels than human beings for or any any um, archangel like Michael uh, Metatron uh, Gabriel Uriel Ariel Raphael to send one of their angel into the aura of anybody that's part of your life situation or to, to ask them or even that they place an angel in the aura of every human being on the planet but but um, in any situation you can ask that one of their angel is placed in the aura of each person so the situation is smooth that should be worked in the diplomacy when, when there is a head of states that are meeting together we we want to send this this um, um, uh, uh, an angel in the aura, an extra angel in the aura of all those beings so they can find a, a common ground of, uh, that, that will lead to, to world peace and harmony. Uh, but, but in personal situation you can, you can already do that or send angels into the, into the collective situation or whatever situation as the angels to assist you. For we are we are blazing light of God. We are we are divine soul. We are, our essence is uh, this divine fire, this divine flame. But it's covered up by 3D consciousness, and it's like we want to peel layer after layer after layer until we can blaze out of this this matrix. Uh, it doesn't mean that we need to leave or anything. For we are only passing through here. Whenever God decided it's our time to go, we will go and we'll move on to something else. But for now, we may as well make our life as pleasant as possible find joy, where, where is our joy, for who we, we are transmuting, but we also have to balance that with joy. And to demonstrate the purest love of God, the purest wisdom of God, for, for before we are entrusted with the divine powers, we have to demonstrate that we are fully present. And the key word is to work for, for the highest good of all, the highest good of all. For in the past, there was many borderline behavior that were completely acceptable within the matrix program of the, the evolution cycle of humanity. But now the, those, those borderline programs are no longer acceptable. Certain things we used to do in the past are no longer acceptable. So we want to we we reform certain aspects of ourselves in order to move into this, um, into our soul, soul plan for... Um, from in, in, in 1986, I discovered a book called The Truth by God that enlightened me in relationship to the reality of God, that God really was and that it was possible and, and expected and wanted for us to return to that God, to return, to embrace the state of all that is, to become God, for it was uh, the, called the non-vehicle, the law of one. And so, uh, so, so I embraced that. I jumped into this possibility, and um, for thirty years I've been, uh, I've been processing, processing my own, my own program. And uh, but I didn't know what I was bargaining for. I didn't know how high I, I was putting the bar on. And so, um, but but it's so. So my soul knows that my intention was to return to that God self. But not everybody needs to place the, the to place that. Um, the bar so high for um, essentially you only need to master 51% of your karma 51% of your to be positive at 51% of the time to be present at 51% or more of the time to be uh, to, to pass 51% of the challenges to be part of the ascension process yet if you want to become master of the third dimension you need to master 70% of the of the challenges to be present at 70% of the time that's if, you, if your soul has not decided to complete the full ascension that will be enough to get a really great light to have money great relationship great fulfilling job uh, plenty of joy and happiness for 70 percent is enough to master that program but if your soul has decided to to um 
to ascend in this fullness of light, then it will it will require a hundred percent of the test to be mastered, a hundred percent of the of the of the of the time. And so so it is, uh, it, uh, and your soul will not let you let you enjoy anything else until you master that. Then you can have it all. So so I was a lot of things are coming clearer because I know I felt like I was I was deserving of having an easy and peaceful life, but um, because of my work, uh, all that I've been doing in the past, I have dedicated my life to the service of God and creation and humanity and the planet for 30 years. But my soul has been really hard on me because it, there is certain little things that's within my power to do that I thought, well, it's like 80% of my, 80% is plenty good enough. I can, I can keep those 20% of misaligned energy to to enjoy a certain um, certain earth's pleasure but but spirit wants me to move into this 100 percent of alignment so I'm, I'm really getting there and in order to if you want to once you must if, if you just want a great life uh, on the earth on the physical plane without having the ascension 80 percent is enough or 70 percent is enough but if, if you want to become an ascended master of the power of telekinesis the power of telepathy the power of levitation the power of the, of, of be localization the, all the magic powers of the ascended masters then you need to be present 100 percent of the time and master 100 percent of the exercise the more the more you aspire to, the more your soul is going to send you difficult tests and challenges to test your resolution in relationship to becoming love and light. Well, I hope this message makes sense to you. It's some things that come through my mind uh, that, uh, that I thought was important to share. Uh, and, and as you move, you're not alone in the process, though it's not like you have to create this, this mastery of all the programming alone. For you, you have guides, specialized guides, specialized masters, specialized angels, specialized spirits. That we all come in assistance uh, um, as as we move from one level to another. We we are being assisted. We are being protected. Every step we make towards the universe, the universe makes a hundred step towards us. So so it is about understanding that it is a dance of creation, and every time we achieve a certain level, we are we receive the blessing and grace of, of new level of reality for, for my master guide explained to me a long time ago it's, it's, like, it's like a precipice you're standing, we're standing on, the, on the border of a precipice and we're like should I jump should I not jump if I jump will it be something that will catch me it says yes we will catch you but do not linger in the border of this precipice for too long otherwise it becomes an illusion so just to create the jump the leap of faith whatever needs to be done is, uh, you may as well do it um, well, so so that, that was the essence of my message. I'm going to pull a few more cards. So the highest wisdom for us today is trust and faith. What we need to understand is Egypt, is the return of this great power, this great Akash, this memory. We need to understand this, this power, this connection. What we need to do is uh, imprisonment and slavery. We need to free ourselves from, from all bondages, from all the old programming, for for the door has always been open. It is us that, that uh, and we, we need to free, to forgive all, all the past. And, and the outcome is persecution and inquisition. All of this has been, has been is created for, for us to return to our self-empowerment for, for the challenges. That the, 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 the more darkness, the greater they are emerging into the light. So as we face this imprisonment and slavery, we find Asia. The, the, the key is meditation, it is serenity, it is lucidity, it is the, the way of the Buddha. And the outcome will be finance, so let, let us break free of whatever is holding us back in order to, to find this liberation that is right around the corner. Well, I hope this message made sense to you. As a last word, I want to say that if, if there is a soulmate encounter that we need to, the soulmates encounter, a pre-incarnation uh, agreement that we made, and, and all the pre-aggression agreement that we made are usually will, will come into alignment. They will fulfill themselves one way or another. Uh, so, so there is no need to worry, just need to align. Uh, we are completing a very, very powerful this year. It's completing a seven-year cycle after the, the end of the Maya calendar in uh, December 12th to December 21st, 2012. And it's a seven-year cycle that was completed, so this next year will be completely different. We just want to enjoy as much as possible the empowerment we can gain, so we can prepare for that. And to choose only positive timeline, and there is no more need to give in to the, 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 the possibility of negative timeline. Breathe through, take a few breaths whenever there is negative possibility that are suffering themselves. 
we want to breathe through. We want to ask the uh, ask the angels, the archangel, and our guides to to enlighten us the situation and see, uh, to, cre to create this this, uh, this stabilization point where we feel secure, we feel safe. For for unconditional love come from the from the sec security of our inner self. So we want to we want to we want to bring the we want to bring ourselves to this point of. Um, of of, uh, of safety and, and, and insurance and of, of uh, to know that our, our spiritual ascension path is guaranteed. We just need to follow the inner guidance. Well, I hope this message was interesting and meaningful for you. I thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. The paintings behind me. This is a small painting that was originally a, a dedication to a, a sculptor named Constantin Brancusi. Great sculpture of the 20th century. But it became something else. It became a, a, a model for a new series of paintings that we'll make in the future. That were, it's about a dream. So it's like a dream, somebody that's laying down sleeping, and it's like a story will unfold with many bubbles, or the whole story will unfold. Here, there's just one, one picture, and the, per the, the person is dreaming here, and it says, Dreams within dreams. It's signed and dated 2015, and there is like this is dreaming inside the great ocean, and there is this uh, this boat that looks like a well, and then there's this frame that's surrounded by a galaxy, and there is this divinity, this goddess that is here, and there is um there is a, a spirit person on the, on the base and and a guitar. I'll show you this a little bit closer. And it's a very certain. It's not easy to see from afar on video. And uh, this painting here is a, is a symbolic representation of our, of our own local universe, the, the universe of Nebadon. It's a dark matter universe. And uh, our own constellation is constellation. There was a 100 symbolic painting of the, of the 100 constellation um, of our local universe. Our constellation is called Norlia Tadek. The center is Edantia. And it's constellation number 70. We belong to the, the, the system of Satania. Which center is called Jerusalem, and our planet is called Urantia. It's symbolized here as a, as a cross within a circle, symbolized of the Christ. But the power of the cross and the circle are very powerful. The circle starts somewhere but never ends. Once it's completed, it is a symbol of infinity, the infinity of spirit. And, and the Ankh is, is, the, is the, the connection to the, the eternal spirit, to the cross of matter, to the material world. So the, the Ankh is the symbol of the cross and, and, and the circle. And so so our planet is known in the universe as the planet of the cross because of the Christ. And then the central world is called Jerusalem. It's located somewhere in the Pleiades. But those were the architectural worlds that were created are completely invisible to the material universe on a much higher frequency level. And, um, and they were created prior to, to the, the organization of the physical universe. Well, I hope this message was, uh, was resonated with you. I'm going to finish with a song. It's, it's like a, just a song. Um, it's a, Somewhat of a blues, maybe a blues pop song. I'm going to finish with pulling one more card. Maybe I'll pull one more card after the song, one more card of the, of the Archangel. It's a song by um, Bill Withers. It goes like this. And no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. And no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away, wonder this time where she's gone, wonder if she's gonna stay. And no sunshine when she's gone, and this house just had no home. Anytime she goes away, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, 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 leave young sing alone, cause ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness every day. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone, then this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away. Anytime she goes away, anytime she goes away. So please come back. Huh? <laughs> well, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. 
and I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna pull this one more card, sorry. So there is two cards even. The, the, the bottom card is the four of real. It, is, uh, it says giving is also receiving, resisting to change, to know how to spend and, and to, to save your money. So it is a card of discipline. And the upper, uh, the upper part is the, there is a four and, and the fifth of real. It says you are not, you're not obligated to, to, under, to, to face all the challenges by yourself. Help is at hand. Uh, ask for help. Uh, negative thoughts do not make things go in the right way. So it's it's about uh, it's about um, an, an understanding that worries will only uh, uh, is mental pollution. There is no need to worry. Just trust and face. Just breathe. Positive your body. Eliminate all those things that that prevents you from feeling that um, that, that that joy energy. Let your God self emerge from all that and from from all the old needs to be released in order for the new to to be reborn. I thank you very much. Namaste.